Why am I waking up in the morning and it's nighttime outside? I pulled out this hat specifically because we're gonna have to put our masks back on because our people up north are burning down the entire country. There is ash in the sky, Canada, on top of the fact that you try to slam poutine down my throat. Pause. Well, you said it was crazy. I gotta deal with this shit. I got my kid asking me what happened to the sky what are we doing? Stop trying to kill us slowly, eh? But I did get a fragrance in from Canada, from fragranceby.ca. Thank you, fragranceby.ca. And it's a new Latafa fragrance, which I know nothing about. I received a DM from one of my viewers and was like, Kuba, have you checked out Latafa Sublime yet? And I'm like, what the hell's that? So I picked the joint up and we're gonna smell it together. I haven't looked up any notes. I didn't see any videos. I don't know what it is a clone of, but we're gonna check this joint out together. So let's roll my motherfucking music because I don't know if the world is ending. It looks like Jurassic Park outside and I might potentially die. But listen, morning my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. It's too early for this shit, it really is, but I, you know, I don't like what's going on outside, people. Let me know what's going on in Canada in the comments below. I don't have cable television, I don't watch the news, I'm on the TikToks and all that other shit, but I really didn't look up information, it's too early, and I want to smell this fragrance right now. Okay, so we got Latafa Badi Alud. Sublime on Decky. So we know that the one of them was an Initio Oud for Greatness clone. The other one is the Atomic Rose clone, but I don't know red, I don't know what clone this one is particularly catered after, but we will find out. Here's that typical presentation, little flat thing over. I forgot how much it was on Fragrance by. I think it was like 40 bucks, 45 bucks, something like that. Maybe cheaper, I don't remember. But here's what the actual bottle looks like. Very nice, keeps the same energy as the other fragrances. And usually these lineups are very nice, well-performing, good scent profiles. So I'm hoping it keeps that same energy. Let me take this shit out of the way. And if it's a good scent profile, what's gonna end up happening is there's gonna be a hype behind it. People are gonna buy the shit all over, so on and so forth. Why is this bottle's got little chips and shit? shit like there's dings on the bottle already just came out little scratches and whatnot clearly there's no quality control over at Latafa but we shouldn't be surprised about that um we'll look up some notes if there are any available this is a pretty new release and see what this is potentially a clone of wow that is fruity floral fruity definitely leaves a little bit femme slightly that is very fruity there's like uh tropical fruit in here i feel like it's a little mango a very light citrus lemony kind of squeeze very dull can cocktail syrup fruit a few white and red florals there's a nice amount of musk in here i don't particularly know what this is cloning as it seems to be high british to my nose it's pleasant it's sweet if you like the overly sweet fragrances almost too much this one might be in your wheelhouse on paper it strikes up as very sweet it has a, I mean, very minimal Herba Buddha type sweetness without that heavy must that Herba Buddha has. And it also has a slight sweetness to like Baccarat Rouge 540. Like if it was a Baccarat Rouge type 40-ish cat and candy sweetness mixed with a little bit of the Herba, Herba Buddha fruitiness minus the heavy musk, it's not bad. I don't dislike it. I gotta try it on skin. Let me see if I can find notes first. So I couldn't find any notes on this joint. It's really like a super new release. But let me try it on skin and see if I can dissect anything right off a rip. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of fruity components, slightly too fruity for some people. There's a little bit of a cranberry essence. There's a little bit of a Baccarat Rouge sweetness as well as a Herba Buddha fruitiness mixed with a nice balance of muskiness, but there's a lot of floral components in this joint as well. Yeah, it does have a bit of a Herba Buddha hybrid kind of sense without the powerful muskiness. Does smell better off the skin, but it is almost, I mean, teeter-tottering on clawingly too sweet. I'm a person who enjoys a sweet fragrance, don't get it twisted, but off my skin, it's really, really sweet, almost just too much. There feels like there is a little bit of a sour cranberry kind of essence in here. Like that seems to be something prominent along with some tropical nuances, like maybe like a little bit of a guava or a mango kind of vibe. For some reason, kumquat is coming into my head. 
come twat. There seems to be a decent level of sillage performance coming off the skin off that singular spray. I don't know what the performance factor is, but these joints generally do fairly well. It's just very sweet. It's very sweet. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be as mass appealing as maybe the other two scent profiles. You have to be into fragrances and more on that fruity gourmand aspect with a little bit of a syrupy nature behind it. If this is your type of bag, then this might be a fragrance for you. It's not like you're blowing the bank with this shit. Pause, that's- The way you said it was crazy. It sounded crazy. But it's also not something that's blowing like my socks off at this point, because I think what gave Herba Pura, and I keep using that as a reference because it kind of reminds me somewhat of that scent profile, is that heavy musk. Although it's an, a ridiculously overpowering scent profile, Herba Pura with that crazy ass musk and overabundance of sweetness. It does, did seem a little bit balanced, might be the word. I don't know if it's exactly balanced, but if you kind of get my drift, like this one just screams sweet, 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 musk, floral, sweet, 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 musk, floral. I don't dislike it, but I don't like absolutely love it. It's a little bit cavity inducing for my taste, but who knows, maybe with a couple more wears, I will learn to appreciate it. Again, it's lean slightly femme, and it tries to be in my brain, a hybrid of somewhere of like an Herba Pura mixed with elements of Baccarat Rouge 540. So personally, I'll give it a half a ball spray. It's not bad. I, I, I kind of like some nuances from it. Maybe a quarter ball spray, that's it. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. This is something that's gonna have to get more aware and it's not gonna be something that I would recommend overly spraying. That's my taste, unless you like the super sweet. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Do you know what this is an exact clone of? For me, it feels more hybridish. Once again, in my brain, it's Herba Pura-esque 540-ish in that space. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. I'll put a link in the description of Fragrance Buy if you're interested in this piece for your Latafa collection. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.